Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for NBC Charlotte at noon. I'm Peyton Walker. Welcome to Sports Extra. I'm Peyton Walker. Reporting in Rock Hill, I'm Peyton Walker, WBTV on your side. My name is Peyton Walker and I started Charlotte Christian in first grade and I went all the way up to my senior year and graduated in 2015. It's almost as if every day was really a memory being made here. Um, the friends that I made, the teachers that invested in me, being poured into at a young age with biblical knowledge, you know, learning Jesus stories in class and making crafts with them that go along, performing in Easter chapels, um, and, and really just being invested in it and again with that Christian knowledge, even, you know, five, six, seven years old. As I got a little bit older, I was involved in a lot of different things that really made me who I am, just extracurricular activities, being a cheerleader, nights news, theater, so many different memories up there up in the upper school, but you know, again, to pick specific moments can be hard. Really, every day is, is just really um, a beautiful time to have gotten to go here, and it's impacted me so, so much. When I'm up at college and I speak so fondly of, you know, my college preparatory school, people are like, what? Like, I, you, I could go back to high school if you paid me. I can't speak enough for the faculty here, the teachers that poured into you and, and really invested in you and didn't really always care um, as much about, you know, who you were in the classroom or on the field or on the stage. It was, it was who are you the person? Who is Peyton Lee Walker the person? I would not be studying broadcast journalism had it not been for Charlotte Christian. I became part of our Nights News program here, which is our broadcasting team for the school. I started that as a freshman. Um, and. I'll be honest, I think starting off I really just saw it as an extracurricular activity, something that I thought was just kind of fun and to be able to be a part of, but never really thought of it as anything more than that. Um, and I realized how much I really just fell in love with it. I was loving it and I had teachers stopping me in the hallway saying, hey, you're pretty good at this. I mean, not, not to brag or anything, but they said, uh, have you thought about doing this as a career? I mean, this is something you seem to have a talent for. And at first I would just kind of be like, oh, well, thank you, you know, that's sweet. I haven't really, I'm planning to be a doctor or something crazy like that. Um, I said, you know, but, but thank you, I appreciate it. And the more I thought about it, I was like, well, I love it. And people think I'm kind of good at it, so maybe this is what I should do. Um, and just prayed about it, and sure enough, I'm enrolled in UNC and, and signed up the papers for broadcast journalism, and I've been in love with it ever since. And it's because of Charlotte Christian that I was introduced to that and knew that's what I wanted to do. I am very involved in our broadcasting program at UNC. I started out being an anchor and reporter for our sports news team, which is very, very fun. I'm not, not sure if you know, but Carolina can be pretty good at basketball sometimes. And then more recently, I started anchoring just for our normal local campus news show. So that's campus news, local news, even sometimes on a national scale, that kind of news as well. Um, so started being more involved in that. And journalism is, is kind of my world. I mean, it is a, it's not just what you do in the classroom. I mean, it's constantly lining up interviews, going out with your camera and meeting people or covering games or all those kinds of things. So people say I live in Carroll and Carroll Hall, that's our journalism building. They think I should probably just move my bed there because I almost never leave. Recently, I just got to interview Tucker Carlson, which I was very excited about. He's a Fox News anchor. He was coming to UNC to give a speech there to our journalism school. And so walked in, had got to be there early and be backstage and, you know, was waiting for him and, and just couldn't believe that I was interviewing, you know, this this national anchor um, and he walked right in shook my hand said hi I'm Tucker Carlson as if I didn't know who he was right he said hi I'm Tucker Carlson sat right down and, and it was just unbelievable getting to, to interview someone who was you know so nationally known that was very an exciting experience this summer I am interning at WBTV it's a CBS affiliate here in Charlotte and I'm working for Molly Grantham who is their main news anchor evening news anchor there the previous summer I had entered at NBC Charlotte um, which is WCNC and had a typical newsroom internship there, absolutely loved it. Got to go out with reporters and see that whole kind of world. And have really just learned that, you know, when you're an anchor, you're not just a face on TV. You are an active person in the community. What are you doing to the better to better the world around you and to really be there for Charlotteans? Getting to see that firsthand right alongside her has been incredible. Being a Christian can be hard sometimes. Going off to college, um, I was ready to take it on, you know, going up to college, you're surrounded by different people who think different things and you have many people that say, oh, well, maybe Christianity is not true or maybe everything's true or, um, and you tackle those kinds of questions here before you even step foot on a college campus. Joining Charlotte Christian will be one of the best decisions you've ever made.